No cooking. No cooking. No cooking, John. No cooking. Tell us more. I'm doing raw food because I know you're, you're a you're huge doing fan. You're doing raw food? Raw food. Raw food. See, I'm a, I, I like, I'm an egg and chips kind of guy. And I like my, my food cooked. But because we adore you, I'm going to do some raw food for Let's you. Well, Lorraine you, uh, likes it as well now. Which I'm shocked at because she's an egg and chips kind no, of girl. No, she well. likes she it. She likes a paella, but that's about, that's about it with Lorraine. If she's watching, I hope she'll, <laughs> she'll kill me. But I'm going to do some raw food, and it's really, really, it's beautiful. It's nice with a barbecue, but it's also nice as like a, a light lunch or something. Mm. So the first thing I'm going to do is just some little courgette sushi thingy-majigs. I love courgette. I, we make courgette spaghetti at with, home. With a spiralizer. Mm. It's good stuff, isn't it? It's, um... If you're watching your carbs and stuff like that, then it's it's really good. It's a clever way to get a uh, veg into kids as well. It is, without having to force it into them. So what I'm going to do is, with a speed peeler, or you could use a mandolin for this, is just shave the courgette into some sort of ribbony strips, well, which really I'm going to use to wrap. Oh. It's nice and it's beautifully thin. You've got to be quite uh, careful with, you know, not to get it too thick. So I'm going to use that. And what I'm going to do is just going to chop some sort of... Um, you can put anything in this, but I'm going to use, like, uh, what's it called? Cucumber. Yeah, yes. It is. It's cucumber. That's cucumber. Use some cucumber. That's cucumber, is it? It's I'm cucumber. I'm going to use cucumber and carrots, but you could put, you could literally throw anything in there. If you wanted to put prawns and stuff like that, you could make it more like a, a summer roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these strips of um, courgette. You can come and have can a, I come have and a help? roll as well if you fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to. Okay. Yeah, no, I'd love to. With the hummus, if you sort of put that, it. it's good for you as well, hummus. Oh, isn't I really it? love it. It's good for you. So a bit of hummus. How much? Um, a, just a, a blob. A little the, blob. On the first one third of the courgette. There so we are. a bit more if you want to, but you don't have to. Oh, okay. I'm not going to boss you about. But you can. And then can I? Yeah, I don't mind and at then all. We're going to get the uh, the carrot batons. It feels a bit 1980s, this, doesn't it, with the carrot batons and the courgette batons and the. You're not the, old enough to remember the 80s. I was born in 89, so only, <laughs> only, only, <laughs> only just only then. Just, but I was a very um, a very aware baby, <laughs> so I knew what was going on. And then a bit of red onion. <gasps> and stuff oh, like I that. love red onion. It's really customizable. If you want like cottage cottage cheese, cottage cheese, I should say, yeah, or um, some cream cheese, you can put that in there. And then a little bit of coriander. You've got some coriander there if you want it. So you can put any herb in, and that's the beauty of this. You, it's great to do with the kids because it's still the holidays oh, I'm too. I'm loving this. So it's a bit messy, but all, all you need to How do. How do you roll? I'm rolling from the different end. Does that matter? Not really. I don't suppose it does. Oh. So you roll those up like that. Oh, how come yours looks so pretty and mine looks a big mess? This looks fine. Oh, and you well. can pop those. And because the hummus sort of oozes out the bottom, they can they stick down. So do I'll let you do another one. And if you want to, you, you want can to do put another a bit one? of um. Yeah, why not? Okay. You can put a bit of sweet chili dipping sauce. Where? Onto, onto it, onto the, onto the vegetables. Oh, vegetables. should I do that as well then? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. So tell me more about this raw food phenomenon. When I the love it. you go to, is it? Yeah, no, no, you can have, so you can have um, cauliflower rice. Okay. So I know people just think, here. it's really, really nice, and kohlrabi rice. Yeah. And, um, and they make their own sort of, their crackers, and they just do the crackers by dehydrating. Oh, right. Yes. A lot goes into it. There's no, obviously, there's no meat because it's vegan. No, it's a vegan place. Yeah, like a, a, a I know L Lorraine was a bit shocked when I first took her, but we've been back since. Really? So she likes it? Yeah. I'm, I'm really shocked at that. <laughs> if you love to come as well. I will. I'll come and join you. There we are. If, look. If, especially if the waiters look like the one on there, on Sex and the City. Oh, yes. I'm there. <laughs> yes. Um, so what I'm going to do now is make these uh, melon kebab thingies. Oh, everything's a thingy today. A thingy. <laughs> everything's a thingy. But these are really sweet. I've got a melon baller here, and these are obviously very inexpensive. You could use um, a spoon, but it wouldn't be as bally. Do you know what? what? We're going to shatter my kids' illusion because whenever they've seen those, they say, "How do they made?" And I said, "Oh, they're special melons that come Little out mini like that." Melons. Just don't <laughs> let them watch it. But what you can do as well for Halloween is put these into a bowl, turn the lights off, and pretend that they're eyeballs. Which is what my parents used to do. They're quite sick, actually, my parents. Yeah, I'm scarred, scarred for life from them. Like, so I've got a mixture of. Uh, oh, no, I don't have it in my mouth now. Oh, it's fine. It's so soft. <laughs> it's, you put raw food into your mouth. This is fine. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe. So a selection of melons, and then all you do is get a kebab skewer. It's, it's really, it's embarrassingly easy this, to be honest. But it's, it's good for kids, and it's mozzarella good for... and and. Um... And melon together. Yeah. I mean, feta and melon goes great. I've done a feta and melon salad before. <gasps> watermelon and feta. Yeah, with a bit Ooh, of lime. Oh, with a lime. Or a bit of gin and tonic as well, splashed over the watermelon. <laughs> very family yeah, friendly. It's very family friendly. And then all you need to do is just skewer these on like that. So just skewer them on and then just have a bite. That's all you need melon to do. Melon balls. Isn't this a bit 70s? Although it is. Well, it is. But do you know what? Let's 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 retreat back oh, to the. Back I to want to try. Past. May I try one of these? Mm, try I'm going to try your one because I think that one. But know. it's all really um, all customizable. Mmm. Oh. That's fantastic. Isn't it good? Fresh, fresh. Mmm. Really refreshing. Oh, go on. Mm. Oh, to have one of those. You taste it. It's really oh, well, nice. Okay. Have a bit of that one. Because it looks up. Okay. Oh, John, thank you very much for that. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> 